Well, hello. God bless you today. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. I pray that you're having a fantastic day. I want to tell you something, my friends. I feel like this is going to bless someone, and I will deal with this a little bit tonight. I want to tell you something. Just because the Lord is patient, that doesn't mean that the Lord is slow. God knows what he's doing. His timing is always impeccable. He's never early. He's never late. He never has to get in a hurry. He's God and he knows what he's doing and he is in charge of my life, of your life. And don't you let anybody tell you any different. You know, with everything that's going on in the world today, I mean, you have to admit, from day to day, there are drastic changes, and uh, and there cha- th- these are changes in important areas. You know, we're in the silly season of the election season, and uh, uh, so many things are going on. But I want to tell you something: do not get pulled off course. The Lord is in charge. The Lord is good. God has not gone to sleep somewhere and uh, forgotten all about us. He has not wound up the universe like a top and set it out to let it uh, wind down on its own, uh, wind down on its own. But he intervenes. And tonight I'm going to be talking about uh, some of the interventions that the Lord has made throughout human history and how the Lord is going to intervene again, how the Lord spiritually is intervening now and how the God of the Bible will intervene on your behalf and on mine. I feel that there's somebody watching today who is in need of a divine intervention. You need the Lord to step into your situation. Today, I just feel led to pray for you, to pray even now. Of course, I'm here to invite you to meet me tonight for Bible study. But before that invite, let's have a quick word of prayer. Father God, I thank you for this day, for life, for health and for strength. And oh God, you know who that is. You know who the person or persons are who are watching right now, who are in need of a divine intervention. Dear God, step in on their behalf and make things right. Step in and bring peace. Step in, O God, and bring healing. In the name of Jesus, someone needs direction. They're at an impasse. They don't know whether to go right or to go left, to sell or to purchase, to stay in or to step out. God, give them direction right now in the name of Jesus. And then, Lord, there's a peace that you give when you have spoken to a person and they know that they've heard from you. There is always an accompanying peace. So we, I speak peace to you in the name of Jesus. God, give you uh, that divine intervention and the blessings of the God of the Bible be upon your life in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, thank you for praying for me. Look for the Lord to intervene. And I'll tell you, the Lord is going to bless us tonight. I believe that the God of the Bible is going to awaken our mind and awaken our senses and even refresh us. There is a refreshing that takes place. And it happens when we uh, get into the word of the Lord. So join me tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. And for those who cannot get here, join me on Facebook Live, on YouTube Live. And by the way, thank you for uh, those who watch, who uh, are our new uh, subscribers and people who have tuned in. Uh, You're so kind. Uh, I got a letter the other day from a lady, and she thanked me for the word of the Lord. And you know what? She sent a, a, a love gift. And uh, and I, here's what I love about the gift. She said in her letter, could you take this and apply it to the ministry of the church that 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 is that that, that is saving unborn lives? I want you to know we gladly put 100 percent of that gift into uh, that ministry in the church. A young man stopped by the other day. He drove from uh, uh, Faison, North Carolina, and he came up here just last week. And uh, and uh, I had not arrived and he wanted to meet me and I, I, pr- I hate that I missed him. But he left an offering and said, have the man of God to do whatever he thinks uh, is uh, good with this offering. 
Thank God we took the offering in its entirety and sold it into the women's work of our ministry that souls might be won, that women might be encouraged, and that the work of God might continue uh, in the earth as the Lord uses our church. So these are just two examples, and there are so many others of people who are writing us, people who are getting in touch with us, people who are sending love gifts, and, uh, and we take them and we put them back into the ministry because the whole purpose of the upper room is to do the work of the Lord. My friends, we must work while it is day, for the night cometh when no man can work. I, I wrote a little song based on a... a, a, a a traditional song that even predates me, and that is put your time in. I kind of jazz it up a little bit, but put your time in. Payday is coming after a while. So we're putting our time in, and you're putting your time in. And tonight, we're going to put our time in, whether we're here live or on Facebook Live or YouTube Live for Bible study. You guessed it, Bible study. We are going to study the word of the Lord together. I'll see you tonight.